So I've talked about the add on random flow a few times now. Um, it's a lot of fun for creating like randomized shapes and surfaces, as well as adding like plating and other things like that. It's currently on sale in the Blender market for 25% off, which I will link to in the notes down below. So in today's video, we're gonna use the add on random flow in order to quickly simulate a city with roads in Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will say this is based on something that the author did on his Twitter feed. And I just wanted to see if I could kind of like reverse engineer it. and. Um, um, learn how to use this to create a city block with roads. Remember, you can do a ton of other things with random flow as well. So he's got some amazing examples of what you can do with it on his page. Um, remember that this is also currently on sale through next Monday for 25% off. But what we want to do is we're going to jump into Blender. And once you have random flow installed, the first thing you need to do is you need to use this in order to generate your actual panels, which are going to make up your spaces that your roads are going to go on. So. We're gonna select this. Remember, you can activate random flow by doing a shift Q. And in this case, we have the selected, we wanna do the random panels. Um, one request is if this could get moved over to geometry nodes at some point, that would be nice. Um, just because this has the thing where you mouse off of this and you lose everything, which can be a little bit frustrating. Um, not, not the developer's fault, just the way that Blender works. But what we wanna do is we wanna start by using this in order to generate just a city, right? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna set our solver to radial and notice how we can adjust this using the number of cuts. So the more cuts, equals the more spaces or blocks right here. So we're gonna cut this down a little bit more and notice how you can kind of randomize this by adjusting your panel size right here and your seat. So we're gonna use this to create some more cuts, maybe like 12, we're gonna adjust this until our panel size is a little bit smaller. And basically what we're doing is we wanna be able to look straight down at this and we wanna be able to see um, the spaces between them as roads. And so one thing to note about this is you wanna make sure that you set your margin to whatever you want your width of roads to be like this. So this is basically just giving you a road width in here. And then if you're having any issues with the Z fighting in here, um, just set your max to something like 0 0.01 or something like that. So it's not generating these um, directly on that surface. And again, you can adjust this by adjusting the seed just like this. But now what we've done, and I'm gonna play around with this a little bit more until I get the look that I like. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna select this panel that was created. We wanna tab into edit mode and you wanna select all of these surfaces right here. Then you can tab back out of edit mode. And what we can do is we can activate random flow by doing a shift Q and adding random panels to this. And I'll just kind of walk you through this step by step um, to get the result that we want. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give this a height. So what we wanna do is we wanna go down and we wanna adjust our height. Now, previously we had this on outer. We don't want outer in this case because outer is just going to generate those new faces, but they're gonna be up above the surface. What we want instead is we want the none. And so when we do the none, what that's gonna do is that's going to extrude these faces with um, so it's gonna extrude the top face, but it's gonna give them actual faces on the sides as well. Now, a couple things we need to do. First off, there's not very many buildings in here. So what we wanna do is we wanna adjust our panel size down. And it's not really gonna change anything until you get down below like 5%, but the lower you set this, the more buildings you're gonna get. So if I hold shift, for example, and click and drag, so that I'm doing kind of more of like a minor distance right here, notice what you can do is you can actually adjust that panel size a little bit. That's actually gonna be what generates your buildings. And notice how you can adjust this based on this panel seed right here. One thing to note is if you are running into issues with the buildings doing this, right here, that means that your margin is set too high and things are like overlapping. So you wanna bring your margin down a little bit. Now that margin is gonna allow you to generate gaps between your buildings. So if you make that margin a little bit higher, you're gonna have a little bit higher gaps. So you can come in here and you can adjust this, but then I'm gonna bring these panels down to like 0.15 or something like that. Then I'm gonna adjust my seat. And again, if you want less than that, you can bring it down like this, it really kind of depends on what you're trying to do in here. But then you can also adjust the randomization of the height by adjusting the height seed right here. And again, you can set like, you can set your minimum and maximum heights in here. So if you want these, if you want your maximum to be taller, you can adjust that setting right here. And you can also set this to have a minimum right here. So we're gonna adjust this. Another thing you could do is you could bring the number of buildings down by adjusting the panel amount 
right here. So if you didn't want like full coverage in here, you could bring your panel amount down just like this. So let's say I was to put in like a 0.1 and we're gonna adjust this right here and adjust my height seed a little bit, bring my max height down just a little bit because some of those buildings look a little bit funky. And so the only problem with this right now um, is it looks pretty good, but everything's really uniform, right? But what you can do in order to adjust that is you can come in here and you can adjust your subdivision cuts up. So if you adjust your cuts up, notice how you're getting different buildings that are different shapes in here. You wanna be a little bit careful with this that you're not just like dragging it way up because the more cuts you create, the more random this is going to be and the more work it has to do. But notice how you can use this in order to randomly generate these city pieces in here really quickly. If you don't like the way that it looks, you can just adjust the seed like this. So you can bring your max up or down as well as your minimum up or down just like this. So if you wanna add a little bit of detail to your city, you can do a subdivision like this. So again, just remember this is one of like a million different applications for this tool. This one's just kind of a fun way to look at what it can do, but there's a bunch of different things you can do with it. Um, I really enjoy working with it. Remember that is currently on sale in the Blender Market. I'll link to it in the notes down below as well as another tutorial I did on it as well. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about random flow, what you'd like to see from a tutorial standpoint. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.